this is Dr. Pat Luce, and for those of you who have read my book, you know I am high on fasting. I think you should be using all the fasting techniques that I out, uh, lay out in chapter one of my book. I want to tell you a little story that has to do with fasting. When I was in high school, I was a wrestler. And as a sophomore, I was pretty good. I was 18 and three that year, most valuable wrestler, won a lot of tournaments. And then over the summer, something strange happened. I grew. I gained 25 pounds. I grew six inches. Now I was still 4% body fat, but I decided I wanted to get down to that lighter weight class again. So I lost, as a junior, 20 pounds. And I did a lot of fasting, a lot of starving. I did it all wrong. And what do you think I did the day my last wrestling meet was over? I went crazy. And because I did, I had something happen to me, and I never knew what it was until recently. It's called refeeding edema. Now here's what, here's what happened. My legs were tree trunks. I couldn't zip my pants. My face was puffy, my skin was blotchy. I looked and I felt terrible. 25 pounds of weight gain in three days. That's gotta be a record even amongst this crowd, right? <laughs> so, I even had a picture taken of what I looked like, and there I was. <laughs> so, what I wanna caution you about is when you do a fast, a prolonged fast, more than two days, you need to reintroduce food slowly. So I want to give you the protocol. Number one, go slow, don't overeat. Number two, start with a glass of water and then have a bowl of soup or something small, a small snack. After that, you are to chew your food thoroughly, of course. Wait 30 minutes before you eat more. Kind of let that set, let that get started, and then you can eat more. And then gradually work back into the Seven Systems eating plan and continue to drink lots of water. Now if you do that, you're gonna have a lot more benefits and a lot less misery after a fast. And some of you are doing the prolonged fast, and there's tremendous benefits from doing that, so I wanna encourage you to do that.